Hello everyone and welcome to Angel Healing House and welcome to Walk In Angel Ariel's Weekly Wisdom for this upcoming week of March 20th through March 26th of 2022. My name is Claire Candy Hoff and my name is also Angel Ariel as I had an angelic walk-in experience on January 11th of 2003. I'd like to welcome back all my loyal subscribers. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, recommending, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. And for those who have found the Claire Candy Huff YouTube channel for the very first time, let me share a little bit about myself. Through my full-time business for almost 20 years as I created my Angel Healing House healing practice in 2003, I'm a Reiki master teacher. I've taught hundreds and hundreds of Reiki practitioners and master teachers around the world, either in my Santa Monica office or online. And I'm an intuitive counselor, again, spiritual teacher. I'm a clairvoyant, a psychic channel tarot card reader. I also do past life healings and also ancestral clearings. Um, I'm also the author of several number one Amazon international best-selling books. So to find out information about my services and also my award-winning books, please do visit the Angel Healing House website on a at angelhealinghouse.com or you can always phone 831 one six and do remember that specific standard time as we are in Santa Monica, California. All that information is in the description box down below. Now, speaking about my award-winning books, I received this absolutely beautiful testimonial or review uh, for the audiobook of my autobiography, uh, which is One True Home behind the veil of forgetfulness. And this listener wrote, this book is an absolute joy. I had the pleasure of reading the print book, One True Home, and I was so thrilled to hear it come alive so beautifully through this audiobook. Claire Candy Hoff leads the listener through lives and journeys, both on and off earth with gentle passion and the other characters voiced by professional voiceover actors are wonderful as well. It's hard to find an audiobook that's both exciting and comforting at the same time, but One True Home strikes that balance perfectly. I cannot recommend this audiobook highly enough, and I encourage the questioners, the dreamers, and all others at every part of their spiritual journey to listen to one true home behind the veil of forgetfulness. And that comes from Ashley R. in Virginia. To purchase and download this amazing adventure, please do visit audible.com or my books can be purchased in print or ebook on Amazon and they can be purchased uh, in print form through my website, angelhealinghouse.com. Now, I'd like to send out a big thank you to all of those people who have made, made donations to my PayPal account for my free weekly content. And if you would like to make a donation, I, I have left my PayPal link in the description box down below. Now, before we go to any oracle cards or, or any tarot cards, as we do every week on Walk in Angel Ariel's Weekly Wisdom, let's look at the celestial heavens to see what energies will be affecting us this coming week. And boy, do we have a jam-packed, energetic few days converging this week. On March 18th, we had a full moon in the sign of Virgo, and it's leading us into the spring equinox on March 20th, as well as a brand new start of the astrological year, which always begins with Aries season. Now remember that full moons bring to light the seeds of what we planted during the previous two weeks when we stood beneath the new moon with only a slight sliver of light to guide our planting of wishes, 
visualizations, dreams, intentions, and desires. And like all full pregnant moons, this one is giving us a wonderful opportunity to release and purge anything that we do not want to bring with us into this new year, this new zodiacal cycle. With this new moon being in the sign of Virgo, it is putting all of its attention on our health and the areas of our well-being that we can improve, whether that's physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual. Now, whether this has to do with improving our diet and our exercise, or perhaps being more mindful of the quality of our thoughts, our words, and emotionally, are we making time for creative expression to give our inner child a joyful outlet to express ourselves through things like painting, playing an instrument, gardening, composing music, writing, and craft work, like making fairy houses for our gardens. You know, that's the perfect thing to do in the Northern Hemisphere to encourage the fairies to help our gardens grow as spring is blossoming. And of course, we feed our spiritual health by making time for things like meditation, reflection, and communing with Mother Nature. The second aspect that Virgo is asking us to look at is, are we waiting for anything or everything to be perfect in our lives before we move forward. I was video chatting with a very dear couple who had a baby two months ago, and they were saying that they thought that they were well prepared for their new baby and a new life, but they had no idea what parenthood would entail and how their life would change. I smiled and shared with them that before I had children, my mother would say, don't have children until you're ready. And once I had my own children, I then said to others, you're never ready for children until you have them. Parenthood, like so many major events like marriage, moving homes, locations, switching careers and job changes, they all need to have careful consideration and preparation. But there has to come a point to where we say, okay, I am well prepared and I'm making action and stepping forward. The posse of angels, here they come, they're chiming in and they're saying that life was never meant to be perfect before we choose to make a decision. It was meant to be lived and experienced. Now, here in the Northern Hemisphere, spring is definitely coming in. And on a recent trip, to Mount Shasta, I got so excited to see my first glance of daffodils, which are one of the first signs that spring is not too far away. At this time of new beginnings with the astrological new year and the equinox, please do remember to set your intentions as to what you wish to manifest in your new life. The Posse of Angels is sharing that with the great shift of consciousness on planet Earth, there are more people of higher awareness that are consciously co-creating their lives with spirit by surrendering to and welcoming the marvels of spirit and their welcoming miracles into their lives. And they wish to remind us that with the light frequencies now taking over the planet, those of us who are awakened are now manifesting in zero-point energies, And in zero-point energies, there are no restrictions, there are no limitations, and there are only endless possibilities. Now, knowing this, my angelic family, the Posse of Angels, is saying, do you want to experience miracles in your life? And they want us to consider the question, what is a miracle? And why couldn't miracles be a part of our daily occurrence? Now let's go to the dictionary definition. The dictionary definition of a miracle is a surprising and welcome event that is not explicable by natural or scientific law and is therefore considered to be the work of a divine agency like God, source, creator, universe, all that is, etc. 
When this supernatural intervention occurs in a human being's life, it is so life-altering that for those whose lives have been touched by this divine intervention, we are truly never the same again. Now, in addition, the Posse of Angels is saying that miracles are continuously happening all around us, and they are just waiting for us to be still enough to allow them to come in to affect our lives. But most people are so busy holding on to an expectation or an attachment as to how they think that something must happen, that they discount their intuition and they don't tune in to how God and the angels want to bring forth and bless them with absolute gems of messages along our life's path. You know, most people miss out on the miracles of life because they are small and seemingly insignificant, and outwardly they actually look. They may look like a diversion that is taking us off the path of fulfilling our logical, expected, and well-thought-out agendas. You know, but the funny thing about life is that the more we can let go of our limited plan and give our schedule over to God's plan, the divine plan, the plan that our souls want to expand and grow into, then things will always work out in the most miraculous of ways. The Posse of Angels is reminding us that humans are under the misguided impression that life works in straight lines. And they're saying, there's nothing wrong with being organized and planning our lives. But once we've done this, Please, please do leave some wiggle room for magic. The magic of the fairies, the elves, the unicorns, the dragons to come in and play and help divert us to go on more adventures and discover more about life. And and when we allow ourselves to be led by spirit and we allow ourselves to discover more about life, we certainly discover more about ourselves. The Posse of Angels are suggesting that the more we allow ourselves to stop and reflect and take time to receive and allow life to give to us, even if it's off the path that we painstakingly scheduled and even if it looks seemingly insignificant, I know that by doing this that God is pointing the way to my next miracle. The Posse of Angels wishes to share that each one of us is a miracle. If we could just stop for a moment and put our focus on this, then we give our lives the chance to reflect this miraculous wonder. In every moment, your miraculous body is keeping you breathing, circulating your blood, your heart beats every second, and your body is miraculously regenerating new cells while you're going about your daily agenda. You've been blessed with the miracle of free will and an abundant nature, and as such, you are pure potential to create and manifest the fulfillment of your desires. Now, the Posse of Angels wishes to remind us all that when we choose to see life as anything less than miraculous, and that life would be better if we had something else, or if we had more of something, then it merely means that our attention is focused on an attachment or an expectation. We've taken our attention off of the magical present moment. We've created an illusion of a distant future. And when we do this, we abandon the child within and we look elsewhere for something that we are willing to manifest that we think will make us feel better than our present moment. But the fallacy within all this is that there's only ever been the present moment. That's why the present is a gift. But the Posse of Angels is reminding us that miracles do not happen in the future, and they do not happen because we wish for them to manifest. The fuel behind those miracles is the reassuring hand of God gently resting on our backs and is found in the undefinable, the 
inexplicable, the infinitely seemingly impossible circumstances which are brought together at just the right moment, at just the right timing, divine timing, in order for all the far-flung puzzle pieces scattered all over the universe to come together and produce something so synchronistic that it is unfathomable for us to believe. And that is something that it can only happen when we let go of and we surrender our restriction and attachment and expectation as to what needs to happen and what should happen. And once we open ourselves to shedding all restrictions, we open to receive miracles in limitless ways. And I must say that uh, on my Angel Healing House blog talk radio show on Thursday, because it was March 17th, we paid homage to the patron saint of miracles, who is St. Patrick on St. Patrick's Day. So let's go to our oracle cards and tarot cards and see what cards came out for us this coming week. Well, speaking about the fairies, I went to my Brian Froud's The Fairies Oracle. I love these cards. And a card that has often come out for us came out again. And this card is called Lasgana, or Lasgana. Um, and she says, to pay attention to our dreams, to listen to the murmur of the waters, to discover more about ourselves, to go on more adventures, to discover more about life. This card is also um, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, this card is a 39 card, is um, reduces to uh, 9, 10, 11, with a 3, which is about creation and miracles. Wherever two or more are gathered, gathered in that name, miracles happen. So this is a card of creating miracles in our life. And it all has to do with diving into new experiences. It has to do with flying higher and wider than we ever thought possible that we could explore before. Go places you've never been. Try things you've never done. You'll never know unless you go. She also suggests with uh, going into that watery realm of ourselves is to seek out water, soothing baths, hot tubs, trips to the nearest spa or hot springs, dips into the handiest seas, lakes, ponds, rivers, or mountain lakes. And then this way, we can uh, go into the depths of uh, of, um, saying to ourselves, I am, I am happy with my life the way it is, but I open myself up to new adventures and to discover more about life. So thank you to our lovely Lesgana for coming in. And with her, uh, she's, she's a combination between a fairy and a frog with those legs, and frogs are all about cleansing and clearing our lives through those waters so that we can get to more of our authentic selves. Let's go to our green witch oracle cards. I love these cards, new cards for myself. Cheryl and Darcy, thank you so much for creating those cards. And the first card that came out for us is Marjoram, is the happiness card. And it's the card number 15. And 15 is a six. And the six is a card of balance and harmony and, of course, joy. And it says new successes and new relationships and new beginnings are indicated with this card. Again, can you do something differently to move out of a comfort zone or an outcome more in line with your desires? Marjoram indicates that with these adventures and discovering more, there are celebrations, there is excitement, holidays, good news, and a physical radiance coming in. Freedom that was once out of reach is now attainable and obtainable. So some of the key words are purification, protection, 
and new beginnings for this uh, this time as we go into this very new time of the new zodiacal year, the equinox, uh, the changing of the seasons, of course, the uh, spring in the northern hemisphere and also going into autumn in the southern hemisphere. But wonderful card of happiness. With that Margeron card. And then the card that came out along with that card is one of my favorite numbers, is number 33. And 33 brings with us mulberries, black mulberries. I love them. And that's a sign of wholeness. Everything should be coming together at the present moment with projects and our plans. The completion of something is indicated with the black mulberries and the energies of this fruit asks us to put our knowledge and skills to the test. Both balance and stability will be present here now. From this foundation, the possibilities are expanding and endless. So they're expanding and endless because the Posse of Angels want to remind each and every one of us that we are open, opening up, especially as we go into April and May of this year, to meeting our soul families. And they are going to uh, be the ones that we're going to be connecting with and collaborating with to bring forth those structures and those new systems of light to replace those old ones of corruption and greed and deception. Um, and... Uh, and working together with like-minded people and uh, being able to utilize our gifts and, we're ta and our talents. Um, and, uh, but not only that, uh, they're saying many of us will be stepping into leadership roles in which um, we can then utilize the spiritual knowledge uh, that uh, was very hard won and hard fought for, fought for us and is coming out. Let's go to the Sacred Forest Oracle cards. And there were two cards that came out here. Um, this card is the 37 card, which is one, which is new beginnings. But uh, this is a card of expansion. And look at that card, the, just the, um, the overwhelming abundance on that tree of the fruit. And then we have a beautiful yellow bird yellow bird high in banana tree is it lemon tree or banana tree i'm not sure but uh, <laughs> this card certainly um, is indicating the spirit guardian of summer where there's vitality there's health this success abundance healing and passion are all expanding in our lives it's a time to step forward with passion and delight and it's when we can access the greatest amount of sunlight and spiritual light so that the power of the sun can pour into our hearts. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's saying, take positive steps into new directions and, uh, and in the direction of your dreams now in order to reap your harvest, your hard work, will result in abundance, bounty, and beauty. Celebrate now and enjoy the fruits of your hard-won labors. I love that card. Coming out with that was the Enlightenment card, and it's saying positive changes are coming. How many times are these cards saying positive changes? You are lightening up. Feel buoyant. Feel the liberation and free. Your connection to spirit is deepening. Old beliefs about who we are and what we deserve in life are falling away. And they're, in, they're replaced by incredible new paths opening up for us. And that's Forest Temple. We are now reflecting that light of the divine and taking it out into the world. Next cards are our Whispers of Lord Ganesha. And two cards came out for us. This is the card of oneness. And uh, the card of oneness is saying, now that we are feeling like we've come home to ourselves, then we can take this feeling out into the world. And we can, uh, really, that's the reflection of our divine eternal natures and share that with the world. Um, finally, finally being able to 
you know, um, shine our radiance, our spiritual knowledge, and share that with others. That's why so many of us are going to be stepping in to and led to those leadership roles. And what comes out, out as a result of that is prosperity. <laughs> Feeling prosperous, not only prosperous um, in and money and finances, as um, as many things are going to come in to support our projects and our endeavors and our services, but it's, it's also to notice and develop our um, uh, our ability to manifest prosperity in the world. This is an abundance card, certainly, and lovely Ganesha is reminding all of us that we have everything we need now, and it's time to claim our abundance and our prosperity beautiful thank you so much for that let's go to the tarot deck and see what comes out these are my beautiful angel healing house tarot deck and just a bit of a heads up a little bird told me that uh most uh Almost most certainly, I'll say almost most certainly, that these cards uh, will be available this year. So uh, get ready, get ready for this absolutely beautiful deck to be available for purchase. And um, it's a, it was a labor of love. These cards were designed by myself and also um, I worked with a magnificent Polish artist and they are made and created with the angelic language of light and an angelic language of energies and they are infused with that higher angelic 12th dimensional energies. So let's go. I hope everybody's well and enjoying the equinox, the change over. And I hope you're feeling that in every moment, the light is increasing on the planet. And we see more and more places liberated and freed. And in order for um, the, the, the light to spread on our beautiful planet. Okay, let's cut the cards into three. As I, as when I teach people tarot, there are some traditional things that we do. When I do that, uh, when I cut the cards, I cut them into three. Then I ask the querent which card deck they would like to put on the top. I'm a middle girl. I always go with what's in the middle. And let's see what comes out. First card that's coming out is the Wheel of Fortune. Now, on my cards, we see a very fortunate little mouse there because he's found a discarded popcorn box that still has popcorn in it. And just like it was fated for him to have a meal on that day, the Wheel of Fortune is a 10 it's the wheel is turning in our favor. It's bringing us those new beginnings, those fresh starts. It's a new phase of our life. And, uh, and the fairy is letting in the miraculous, the magical, the serendipitous, and the synchronistic into our lives. Um, I've spoken of long time now on my Angel Healing House blog talk radio show, which airs every Thursdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, about how so many of us have contracted uh, to step onto these dharmic paths, these missions that are coming up for our, ourselves next, to step into these leadership roles, to be the spiritual teachers, to be the new thought leaders on the planet, all of those things. And all we need to do is just get out of our way and allow fate, karma, and destiny of that higher source God, angels, universe, source, universal, all that is to lead us and to be uh, aware in the present moment of those signs coming in for us. So I love, love, love that the first card that came out for us is the Wheel of Fortune. Now, next card coming out from that is the Judgment card. And the Judgment card is always a card of resurrection. 
It's always a card of coming into a new phase of our lives. You see this gentleman here in my cards. He's coming out of a dark woods. He actually, I don't know if the light is picking it up, but he has twigs and he has leaves and things on the back of him. And he's coming into the light. He's hearing. He's hearing Gabriel. Gabriel, the, the archangel of communication, trumpeting that it's a new start of his life. Look at all the butterflies signifying transformation, opening up this new path for him. And of course, <laughs> in all of my major arcana cards, I've put a mouse, a mouse for us to be surprised, a mouse, uh, a mouse for us to, to find, to discover, to be curious. And certainly this is trumpeting the divine saying, this is your new path. And so many of us are going to be stepping onto this new phase of our life. It's very exciting time. Next card that's coming out for us is the Ace of Cups. Again, again, we have the one. Again, that's the new beginnings, the new stars. Look, we have the butterfly again as a sign of transformation. Look at that new growth. The hand of God comes down and hands us this. Now, if you could see this from a soul contract that you wrote and is housed in the Akashic Records, and if you do choose to have a session with me, an Angel Healing House um, session, um, we look into your Akashic Records. I speak about the Akashic Records in my book, One True Home, Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness and the soul contracts that we write. Um, each and, every, each and every one of us wrote how we, once the revolution happened in order to help the planet evolve, then we would be stepping onto these new dharmic paths to take us to our own castles and this new flowering and beginning, uh, beginning for us. And it's such an exciting time. So there we go. Uh, we've had two major arcana cards and an ace. Okay, now let's see what comes out. The chariot, another major arcana card. This is the card of recognition. The reason that this new phase is coming in is not just happen chance. It's because of all of the hard work and effort that you have put in to your projects, your endeavors, bettering yourself. Um, and the chariot is a card of rewards, promotion, recognition. It's also the card of moving. Many of us, were, uh, for in order for us to step onto those dharmic paths, we'll be moving homes, moving cities, moving states, possibly moving countries, you know, in order to uh, connect with our soul families and to be able to bring forth our next dharmic missions. And those little mice are looking up in wonderment at the charioteer coming in. And because we've had that courage and that bravery and that strength, this is why um, we, the, the, our dharmic missions are going to be presented to us. Okay, a few more. What's this? <laughs> of course, we're starting at, back at zero. You know, many people uh, may not know this, but the tarot starts with zero. It does not start with one. It starts with zero because we've completed a cycle. And as such, we're back at square one. But the thing with the fool is we don't mind being back at square one because we're taking all the spiritual knowledge that we learned and then we can apply it, excuse me, we can apply it on our new path that, they're, that we're walking on. The fool card is reminding us that when things open up for us, yes, follow spirit and do so with a childlike sense of wonder and enchantment and allow spirit to guide us on this very new, brand new path for us, you know, the, uh, one of the symbols in uh, traditional tarot is the satchel that the fool carries. And um, when I do teach tarot, I explain to my uh, tarot students uh, that that satchel is all he needs 
because in that satchel are his wealth of his experiences, the wealth of his talents, his abilities, and his gifts, and all the uh, spiritual knowledge that he already has, which he will then unpack as he goes on a new cycle. How many more cards? Okay, they're saying a few more. Next card is the Six of Swords. Now this is as we're journeying and making movement on this new path that's coming up for us as we go into April and May and the summer months of this year, many of us are going to be moving. Many of us are going to be moving, moving jobs, moving careers, moving into new relationships. That could be romantic or business and uh, just moving into feeling more ourselves and, and, and after being restricted and, and for so long. And a lot of that restriction was we restricted putting ourselves out there and not so much physical restriction that anybody put on us. We are going to feel like putting ourselves out there and it's going to feel wonderful. Um, this card is traditionally moving from rough waters to smooth waters and, and feeling now a sense with that six that we're secure, we're stable, we're safe, and we're protected in that little... Um, Harbor, I guess, yeah. That's that little harbor. Two more cards, Posse of Angels. Two more? To, okay, two more. The next card is another major arcana card. This is the Empress card. Look at that card. Beautiful card. And the pomegranates. The pomegranates are, that, are about the divine feminine coming to the fore. It's about birthing something into the world. And how many of us uh, just champing at the bit to get out there, to work with like-minded people and connect and collaborate. The, the, the bunny there, the hair, is about fertility, and we're ready. The, the squirrel is about having fun and also gathering, gathering all new information. And of course, the raven is about magic. So get ready. Get ready to step into those paths. And of course, you once again, the number three is about the creation of miracles. And one more card. Oh, what a card to end with. We have the star card. And the star card is wishes coming true. This is, they might, and they might come, they might not come, the Posse of Angels are saying they might not come in the way you expect them, but they're going to come in better and more extraordinary than you ever imagined. And if you can just find the courage and the bravery and the strength to let go of your expectations and attachments, they're saying you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> and so this is the card wishing upon a star. And it's the card of you. You being the star in your own, in not only in your own firmament, but stepping into the spotlight to allow yourself to be seen as that new thought leader on the planet, as that new spiritual leader, to put yourself out there and just be your radiant self. Thank you so much, Posse of Angels. Those are such beautiful cards. And once again, I am using the Angel Healing House tarot deck, which hopefully will be able to be purchased this year. So to end with, let's go to our postcards from Spirit. Beautiful deck by Colette Baron reed And I just giggled myself silly when this card came out. At the back it says, with love. And it says, dearest you, miracles never run out. St. Patrick's Day, the patron saint of, saint of miracles. In the channel today, it was about miracles. You are a miracle. It is, it's all about adventures and discovering and those miraculous synchronicities now happening in our life. They want us to, you, look back over your life and you'll see so many moments of synchronicity when all the right people and the right places the right opportunities and the right time just showed up without any of your help. Think back to how you felt just before a miracle happened. You felt you were giving up, but it was more like a gentle surrender to whatever was about to happen. 
We want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and you will never, ever run out of them. You just don't get to choose how they come, who will deliver them, and when they will show up, and what they will do for you. All of that is our department. All of that is Spirit's department. Spirit knows what is best for you and what wants to be expressed through you. I've often say, I often say that Spirit knows us better than we know ourselves. You are incredible and amazing and a magnet for miracles. That would be a good mantra for you today. I am an incredible, amazing magnet for miracles. We're on it, says Spirit. So you can just relax. If you only knew how much you are loved, if you only knew how much you were loved by spirit. Let's go to our making magic cards, speaking about working with spirit and the magic that they bring to our lives. Let's, let's turn these the right way so they get uh, all kinds of right way okay okay now we're going in the right direction okay posse of angels make them jump 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 i can hear the birds calling me oh one came out <laughs> another one beautiful posse of angels this afternoon the birds are calling me to go out sit on the balcony and possibly to sketch them um i've already there we go i've already painted a beautiful picture of a bird um, this past couple of weeks. I allowed my inner child to come out and I did some painting. I haven't painted for a long time. Um, and uh, I don't know, when we go into spring, it's, uh, it's a sign to be creative, you know, to be reborn, to allow ourselves to delve into those parts of us that want to express ourselves and to be reborn and all of those wonderful things. Okay, those two came out as well. So the first card I giggled when it came out was, when I was speaking about spirit, is the spirit card. <laughs> Heavenly assistance from your angels and your guides. If you only knew how much you were loved. And all you need to do is know that spirit is on it. Whatever that is and you're asking for in the fulfillment of your heart. Spirit is already on it. The next card is wishes coming true. Rapid achievement of your dreams and your wishes. And the third card that came out is the festival card, which is create an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party or event. So many things are gonna manifest for us. And this, af uh, around this time, um, after the equinox and going into late, uh, later on in March and April and May, um, there will be celebrations. And I'm just getting shivers all over. There will be celebrations and um, of celebrating all of our hard work, our courage, our bravery, and our projects and our endeavors and the things that we believed in. We took into, uh, intuitive action and, and we took physical action to bringing them into physical man manifestation. And now they will be supported in the world. So I hope all of that has been helpful for you. Remember that my um, Angel Healing House blog talk radio show where you can call in for free mini angel readings that happens every Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on blog talk radio of course and um, and uh, my reminder to you is to go out and fashion an absolutely beautiful life for yourself if you need any clarity if you need any direction if you need more self-love if you need more motivation and inspiration, please do go to my Angel Healing House website, which is angelhealinghouse.com. And that number is 
277-3716, and that's Pacific Standard Time in Santa Monica, California. And all of that information is in the description box down below. I'm wishing you love, and as always, angel blessings. I do look so forward to speaking with you again very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.